Okay, we're going to start over from where we ended last. You'll notice right here that the button goes too far over the sidebar, so we're going to work on that. Let's open up our index.dwt, and we're going to go to our CSS designer. And we're going to click on sources, styles, and then sidebar nav. We didn't put a width on that. A, put the width on this. So let me see. Let's do a width of 190. Look at that. Okay, the 190 works. Let's put in 195. A little too far. How about 193? <laughs> We're going to get it. Uh, that might be it. That might be it. Let's see what 194 does. 194 looks right on it. Let's see what happens if we preview in Chrome. Look at that. <clears throat> it's hard to see, but it looks like it's just inside of it just a, just a little bit. Let's go back and I'm going to put 195. It looks like it's over here, but you don't trust Dreamweaver's WYSIWYG. That looks just right here. Alright, so 195 wide for the side nav A. Let's do the background color of the sidebar nav, sidebar 1. Okay, let's go to sidebar one. Where is that? Sidebar one right here. Right now we're doing a color of, let me click on color. It's this gray color. What if we got our eyedropper, clicked on that green there, press enter. There we go. Now let's preview in Chrome. Save it, yes. There we go. Now we're getting to it. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there now. That white on the top of that border just too much. I'm going to make that a little darker to make it maybe go with that other green up there. What is that green up there? That's the nav. The, um, the nav. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's find out what the, the border colors for the nav are. Top is let's snag that color 22a222 copy let's go to sidebar side nav a and let's do right here let's paste it on the top and the left that's sidebar side nav a there we go let's preview in google chrome that looks a lot better okay now, when we hover over this, we see that light. We could have the word be white, or we can have it be green. It's up to you. We could even <clears throat> make it look like the button gets pushed in by making the light gray, the light green on the top and left, be on the bottom and the right, and it flip flops. Let's do that. <laughs> Get crazy. We got to go to. Side nav A hover and do the same thing here. We need to uh, do the top. Let's do the uh, the right first because we already have the, the color number right. Oops. Uh, put the color number here. Style is solid. Width is. Uh, what do we do? Five pixels? Is that what we did? Oops. Gotta do it in here. Sorry. Uh, drop down. Pixels. Was it five? Let me go back to the side nav A. Four. Okay. So side nav A hover. We have to make it four pixels. And the bottom. Do the same thing. Pixels. Four. Style. Solid color. Let's put our color ring, color number. It's hashtag 22A, 222. Press enter. And let's get our 
Uh, that's the light color. Let's get the dark color. Go to side nav A. And we're using a black, huh? Jeez. Let me see what the the bottom is that black. The right is this. Oh, I like this color better. 053F05. Let's put that for the bottom of the side nav A2. I don't want black. And then let's click on side nav. Uh, side nav A hover. Sorry. I get all confused and stuff, right? For the top, we're going to do this color. We're going to do solid. We're going to do pixels. Come on. So touchy. Four. And then for the left side, same thing. Pixels for style, solid, color, paste, enter. All right, now let's preview in Google. Say yes. Now watch what happens. Oh, 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 that's so cool. Look at that. Now it really looks like it's indented, indented into the website. It actually looks like you're pushing the button. Freaking awesome, right? It's pretty cool, huh? Okay. Now the word here: tips to make a green start. Let's uh, change that color. That is inside of. Let me see. We're inside of what? We're in sidebar one. So sidebar one. Let's come up here. We want the color to be hashtag FFC. There we go. Now we've got that same color, right? Good, good, good. All right, let's save it. Update our pages. And then close. Let's color in the footer. Hashtag footer. Let's go to footer. We want the color of our font to be hashtag FFC. And we want the background of our color, background color. To be this green right here so let's get the eyedropper click on that green press enter dude let's highlight the word footer and put the copyright oh that, where did that copyright go insert character copyright year 2015 all rights reserved space see that vertical slash bar that's underneath your that's underneath your uh, backspace you press the shift when you click on that web development by probably spelled that wrong Let's see development by web skins you put in whatever you want to put in for yourself I'm gonna highlight that I'm gonna put a hashtag well, I'm gonna put an HTTP that means it's going to a external hyperlink and it's a absolute link www.webskins.com sometimes you don't have to put the www in make sure you click on target underscore blank does it all for you let's preview in google come down here look at that click on it opens it up in a new bar let me close these up Come on, it shouldn't take that long. Let's go. Okay, we'll get back to that. Um, I want to color the the word web skins. There he is. Page not available. What am I not on the internet? Connected and secure is dangerous to go alone. I'm connected. Hmm. That's interesting. I was just looking at my website on there. Anyway, let's go back to Dreamweaver. And we're inside the footer, right? So let's go to Font CSS Designer. We need to make a. I'm just going to copy. Double click on that. Copy that. Make a new one. Space A. And in this one, we're going to do color actually we know what the color is we want hashtag ffc enter look at that web skins became nice color now now you can show the um underscore if you want 
Oops, I better plug in my PC. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Um, if you want that, I don't usually like to have the underline there unless it's a navigation. So let's click on uh, text decoration. None. Gone. But what if I want it to be there if I hover over it? Let's copy that. Let's make a new selector. Colon. Hover. And my text decoration, when I hover over it, I want it to have an underline. Let's preview in Google and uh, Chrome. Now, look at that. Click on it. it. should open it up. There's my website. Hey, it came right. So you want to open up your web design, your website somewhere else. Now, this looks kind of funky where it goes green to green. It looks like the same green. That's not good. I don't like that. So this right here, this green, let's make that a lighter green. Let's make it that this light green right here. So it gives it some, you know, form. Right now it just looks like it's all connected. It's not, it's not, there's no contrast. That's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> so let's go to side nav, uh, sidebar one. And let's do the background color. Let's click on that color. Let's click on this. And I'm going to click on that little green right there. And press enter there we go that's what i'm looking for and what i want to do is i want to click at the end of start and press delete a couple times preview on google chrome yes all right this is why i did that see that area right here i want that to fill in i want there to be a fill in right there so how am i going to do that how am i going to make since this right here is too much how am I going to make that fill in straight down? Because the div just stops there because there's nothing else in there. Now you could say to yourself, well, I'll just fill in some information, right? I'll just press enter a couple times. And then go preview and go Chrome. That works great. But what if you're on the about page and it goes longer than this, right? Let's let's uh let's save it. Command S to save, update all pages. Okay. Now let's say I'm in the files, I'm in your I'm in the about page. And there's lots of about stuff that's going on, right? I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste that again. Uh, I'm gonna have extra stuff. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna preview in Google Chrome. Let's say the home page looks great, right? But then when you click on green about and you have too much stuff in the page, it makes it longer. And you're like, man, oh, it didn't work. And then you make this longer and longer and longer, and then when you go to the home page. You're going to have a really long home page with a big content area for your body, for your body uh, content, but then you're going to have nothing in it. So it's going to look weird. So we got to fix this, right? Yeah, you know it. So let's go back to our uh, index .html, I mean .dwt. In the Dreamweaver book, they're using a different color, not this green. They're using like a beige, so we might have to use a beige because I kind of, well, Let's go to, uh, is it lesson five? Let me see. Background.png, butterfly, divider, PNG. I think it's, it's lesson five, divider.png. That's what we're looking for. Um, I can copy that. I probably won't need it. I'll probably snag it. Go to CSS Designer. Click on Styles up here. Click on Sidebar. And then Background. And then background image. Let's click on the UR. Let's click on the folder right here. There we go. Lesson five. Images. Click on divider.png. Look at that. It shows. Crazy, isn't it? Now, what do you see when you look at that? Let's open it up in the browser. It goes to the bottom, but what if I go to about? Oh, let's save it for everything command s to save or click somewhere press space and save it again and i'll save all update all close okay let's go back here let's pre refresh all right so it's not still not coming down so oh man this stinks okay so i got a cool color working in the background here it's not going all the way down so i'm gonna have to put it in the in the background of my container oh oh my if i do it in a container you won't be able to see it up here because we already have divs in there and we have a div here. So we'd be good that way. So let's um, take it out of here. 
we don't need it there anymore. Sidebar one. But what I'm going to do is take the color out of the background of my sidebar. Okay, you can't see the word now. But I'm going to go to my container and then go to the folder for URL for background image. Hey, okay, now what's going on? Click on that. I want my p divider.png. Now what's going on? Oh my god, there's so much. Look at all those dot 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 slash 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 slash. Okay, so you remember double identity that we worked on? We did uh, X, Y, and Z background. X goes cross, Y goes up and down, and Z comes at you. So which one do you think this is? X, Y, or Z? It's Y, exactly. So we have to find background position. Let's find out background size, background dip, background repeat. Oh, this one, repeat Y, right? Let's see what happens. Oh, that looks good. But it doesn't look wide enough, does it? Let's see what happens when I preview Google Chrome. That looks great, doesn't it? But now these buttons look too too wide. Oh, so I might have to make them thinner. Man, it never stops, does it? So let's go back to side uh, side nav A. Let's go to width. It's 195. Let's bring it to uh, let's say 150. The oh, almost perfect. Let's see. Preview in Google Chrome. Ah, it's just a little bit on the inside, and it's great because now we have more room to mess with. So let's say 151, and then preview in Google Chrome. Perfect. Now we have more room in here. We can bring the main content over to the left more. How can we do that? Well, this is a sidebar right here, right? We got to bring the sidebar over to the left bar. Sidebar, width 225. The image is 150, right? So let's bring the sidebar over to 150 just for now. Enter. Mm, 150 is too much. Let's do um, 175. Let's see what happens. Good. Let's do. Uh, let me just do one. Do we do 180? Okay, let's preview in Chrome. Okay, our words are in here. We want to get tips and green start off of the side over there. We want to give give it um, some. Um, want to make green tips and make green start not white anymore, and we want to bring it off of the side. Let's do that and then we'll start another video. Now, sidebar one, if I were to give the padding on the inside 10 pixels off the left, it pushes everything over. So we can't do that. So what I'm going to have to do is make a new class for it. But before I do that, I want to get rid of that color, right? Sidebar one, text color. Let's get rid of the text color. So now it's back to black. That's fine. Let's make a new selector and we're going to name it. Actually, let's get rid of that. Click inside here, press on new selector. Let's see what it names it. Sidebar 1P. Hmm. I, I can dig that. Let's name it hashtag sidebar 1 paragraph. P for paragraph because this is inside of a paragraph tag, see, P. Sidebar one, space, P. Let's do padding, 10 pixels. Dude, let's do 10 pixels on the right side too. All right, so whatever we write, it won't go too far. Let's click on sidebar one, P. There we go, that's it, let's save it. Command S, updates everything close. Let's check it out in the browser. Let's refresh. There we go. We're doing good. Let's click on about. Look at that. It goes all the way down to about. So that um, putting that background beige in the container, the background of the container, and then doing a repeat Y to go up and down on the left side. Perfect, right? Perfect. Okay. 